Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what I ate today and also just talking about other random stuff. So, first thing, I woke up at 12, a little bit before 12, and I didn't eat until 1 because my cousin got up a little bit after 1. She slept over, and so I ate at 1, and I had a strawberry and banana smoothie also don't mind my makeup it's smeared because i was swimming but i had a strawberry and banana smoothie with just water and strawberries and a banana so it was really good it was super thick because i actually made it right which is good um because i froze both the strawberries and the banana my uh family was mad at me because i froze the strawberries and they thought I ate all the strawberries. Honestly, strawberries are my favorite food. Like, safe food. Because, like, there's it's literally, like, two calories for one strawberry. Also, I just had to put my dogs out. Because they were being loud. So, they're outside right now. Uh, well, they kind of wanted to go outside. That's why they were whining. But, you know. So, I also... After... I, I ate that at one... And then a long time after that, I had, I went swimming and then I had a bagel with cream cheese, which put me at like, it's a loud thud, but, um, which put me at like 500 calories, I think, because I had it with cream cheese. I don't know if I mentioned that. I can't remember, but I had a bagel with cream cheese, which, um, put me all the way up to, like, 500, and then, um, I, after that, my cousin was like, oh, do you want the rest of my macaroni sandwich, so, which sounds gross, but there's this sandwich shop that we went to yesterday called Melt, and, um, you just, it's, like, sandwiches, um, it's pretty much just all sandwiches, salads, and they have some soups. I was going to get a salad, but the sandwiches there are so good that I couldn't resist it. I already finished mine yesterday. It was a big sandwich. So she had a little bit less of hers, and I ate it because she offered it to me. And it wasn't super high calorie because it wasn't a big sandwich. Well, it was like it's like this thick, like proportionate to my face. Um, but it was only like this much so it wasn't that many calories so i was fine with that i was at like 700 or something after no probably like 800 and then i just had some pretzels and i'm at a thousand because i ate a lot of pretzels but i'm at like 1000 and something and i haven't eaten since then it's only like 620 but i probably won't eat anything after this because I binged the last three days. Today is Monday. Yeah, Monday. So I binged Sunday, Saturday, and Friday. I binged Saturday and Friday. No, Friday to Saturday. Because I went over to my grandparents' house and spent the night there with my cousin. And then I binged yesterday to today. Well, I didn't binge at all today, but like last night because my cousin slept over so we technically ate cookie dough oh yeah i also ate cookie dough which i added in that's why my calories were at so high from that bagel was because i had cookie dough i also had cookie dough in the middle of the night but i didn't count that because i literally got 11 hours of sleep after eating it so, I mean, it was all gone anyway, because I d ate, like, one or two spoonfuls. Um, I haven't worked out, but I swam for 30 minutes. I haven't put that into my net diary yet. But I'm glad that I didn't binge today, and hopefully... I was gonna ask... Be I ate pretzels, so now I can't ask. But I was gonna ask for an Oreo ice cream bar, because they're pretty small. Not this small, but they're pretty small and they're not super high calorie. 
and they're sweet, so it'd be good. But now I'm at like 1,100, so I can't really eat that now, or I'll go over 1,200, which is my limit, by the way. I have, I have it set up so high because then I can decrease it more over time and it'd be more sustainable, even though I literally have an eating disorder, but like, it's just more sustainable if I just do it like that. So once I plateau with um, exercise every day and eating 1,200 calories, I'll drop it down to 1,000, and I don't think I'm going to go under that and just work out more if I plateau then. But to maintain 100 pounds and be my height and age, you have to eat 1,200 calories. So my goal weight, I've never talked about my goal weights. Okay, so starting weight is 170 uh, not kilograms, by the way. This is all pounds. Um, is 170. Right now, I think I'm like 168 or something because I've been binging. So I didn't lose a lot. So I haven't checked my weight. But starting at 170. And then my goal weight is 160, 150, 140, 130, 120, and 110. My ultimate goal weight is 100, but I don't know if I'll ever get there because that's, like, really, really thin. And I'm not trying to get, like, bone, bone thin, like, just, like, skinny. So I think 110 would be good. And then I'd still be lighter than this one girl in my class, and she's thin. She's really thin, and she's 120, but she's also, like, four inches shorter than me. So if I was 110, then I'd be real skinny, which is good enough. But 100 is like my ultimate goal weight that I'll probably never achieve, but it's fine. Cause once I get to that last goal weight, I don't really care at that point. Um, Cause that's just what I've been aiming for, for like, I've had an eating disorder for over a month. I mean, not a month, over a year now. Because it started when I was in PHP, which is Partial Hospitalization Program. Because I tried to kill myself. And so I was in the hospital and then I was put in that. So it's six hours of group therapies, um, in including lunch. And I had a really bad eating disorder then. Um, and lost like 20 pounds while I was in there. And it was only three weeks long. Which is like seven more than seven pounds a week right now i'm trying to lose five pounds a week because it's pretty easy i can lose five pounds in like two days if i wanted to but it's just easier for me and i'm less likely to binge so one time i lost three pounds in one day because the only thing i ate was a monster ultra and gummy worms that's fun. But I dropped so much weight when I was in group because I didn't eat lunch and then I wouldn't eat any other meal. Like sometimes I would eat a little bit of my lunch or sometimes I would eat my whole lunch. But after group, I wouldn't eat anything and I definitely didn't eat anything before group. I knew I had an eating disorder the entire time I had one. Um, it, it was never like I didn't know. I always kind of knew that I had an eating disorder. And I was kind of like, I've always been pro for myself, but not for other people. I went into recovery twice. Once I was forced to the second time, which was recently, which is why I weigh a lot now, was um, because I decided to after becoming like 140 again. And I was like, this isn't healthy. It's better if I just eat good meals. So I did. And now I'm here and I hate myself. So shouldn't have done that. But 
I went into, I was forced to go into recovery once because I was extremely underweight. After group therapy, I kept losing weight and then I dropped to like 100, I think. I was super underweight and I had to go to the hospital and I was in residential. Um, I was, I was not in residential for very long. Not even like half a year. Like, it, I think it was like three or four months, which isn't very long for residential, especially for an eating disorder. Most people stay year and a half to a year. Right now, my ex-girlfriend is in eating disorder residential, which kind of sucks because we were going to start talking again. And then she got in there. I know that talking to your ex is not a great thing always, but... She's really pretty, and I really like her, so, you know. I'm gonna start talking to her again. I don't want to eat anything right now, but I'm kind of bored, other than the fact that I'm filming. Because after I film, I'm probably just gonna watch TikTok or go on Tumblr, or both. But I need to work out, depending on how many calories my swimming burnt. I'll put that in after I'm done recording because I can't put that in right now because I record on an iPad, which is hence the quality. It's bad, I know, but I record on an iPad because I don't want to record on my phone because my mom can see everything I do on my phone. She doesn't know I have a YouTube channel or anything. Um, also, this is my second video. If you haven't seen my first one, which in the first one, I just talked about my eating disorder, safe foods, ones that keep me from binging and also ones that I really like and are low calorie. So that's what I talked about. I said I was going to talk about other things than what I ate today. And I technically did, but this video needs to be a bit longer because I'm actually going to edit it this time. Maybe. Actually, I don't think I'm going to edit it this time because I didn't edit it last time and it wasn't that big of a deal. Because I don't, I don't need to cut a lot out. I don't know. I go silent for a little bit sometimes. But that's because I just trail off. Because I have ADHD. So. That's also why I don't look at the camera a lot. Because I'll be doing something else. Like I'm playing with stickers on my sister's phone. The back of it. Nobody's home right now. Because I only film when people aren't home. I might start filming at night like at like three in the morning because I can stay up late now because I don't have to watch my younger sister anymore um in the mornings because she's doing camp so she's not like home in the morning she she's gone from nine to four which is good plus then I get to be home alone every single day so I'll probably be able to get more videos done my dad's staying home tomorrow, so I won't be able to record tomorrow, but I can probably record tonight, depending on what I record. Um, I might start a TikTok account. I have a TikTok account for my weight loss. I haven't checked up on it in months. No, not months, like weeks, though, because I haven't downloaded TikTok in a while. I have it now because nobody's home. I'm not allowed to have TikTok, by the way. Don't know why. Um, I also, they don't like when I have Snapchat, but they don't, like, they don't want me to. But if I download it, they're not going to do anything about it. So, you know. I was going to have yogurt instead of pretzels because the yogurt... There's 100 calories for one third of a cup, which is a pretty big. I was gonna put with strawberries, but then I realized that all the strawberries are freezed. So depending on how many calories I burn from, cause I add my cat, my, the amount of calories I burned onto my daily limit. And so, it, if I like burn 50 calories, then my limit is 1,250, which is fine. My net diary only takes 50% of what I burn to add to my thing. 
but personally, I had the whole thing. But I'm probably gonna work out after this, and yeah. But I could put these dairy-free chocolate chips in because they're lower calorie. But I can't have dairy anyway. But I you still eat yogurt. I, I, I'm not allowed to have dairy, but I still eat it anyway. Because I'm lactose intolerant. Which I would be thankful for because I have an eating disorder that I can't have milk. I'm thankful for it because I can have an excuse to not buy lunches at school. I just say that I don't want to buy them. Because you have to buy them a month, no, the like a, like the week before the next month you buy them and choose which ones you want and like you send it in and it tells them. So like, I can just say, I've been just saying for like, since last year, I've been just saying that I don't wanna buy lunch because I'm lactose intolerant and it hurts my stomach. My mom knows I'm lactose intolerant because I found out from a doctor, obviously. So, you know. Also, if there's noise in the background, that's my bird. Um, also, if there's noise in the background in any future video, it's my dogs. So, I think that's gonna be it. I kind of just ranted about my past, my goal weight, and what I ate today. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.